Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. I've been getting tons of comments asking me where is this Minecraft Survival Let's Play. And you know what? I thought about it. It has been a while since the last episode, and I'm really excited to say that it's back. It's it kind of took a little pause, and that's all we're. That's all it was. Okay, it took a little break, but uh, we're finally back on the same world. Uh, not much progress has been done since the last episode. If you guys, first of all, are very excited for pretty much the return of the Survival Let's Play from our little break, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button also don't forget to let me know down below in the comment sections anything you would like me to try and build and achieve on this world i'm also going to be doing a uh, pretty much a world download at maybe a few episodes down the road so let's go ahead and see if we can reach 100 likes for this episode i know you guys really enjoy this and i do feel sorry about leaving it behind for the past few uh i think it was like a past few months now uh but everything's back to normal i am starting to upload more often now so hopefully you guys are gonna uh start supporting all the new uploads as i'm finally back on schedule so what we're gonna do today you may be asking is we're gonna be working on a halloween pumpkin patch farm pretty much now if you guys don't know it's going to be october in a few more days and i figured you know what it's time to bring in the halloween spirit on the channel so you guys will be seeing some more uh halloween related gameplays and of minecraft and things of that nature if you guys have a scary halloween uh adventure uh map that you guys want me to try out and see if i can get spooked from let me know down below in the comment sections and uh, let's go get started. If you guys are also part of the notification squad, definitely go down below in the comment sections after your comment and type in hashtag notification squad so I know that the that the bell is actually working, that notifications are working. Because if you do not know, YouTube has been acting a bit strange recently um, with its whole entire sub box. It's been having issues. It hasn't been working like it usually does. Um, and it's just a slow month. September, honestly, is one of the slowest months for any YouTuber. And, and they'll tell you that. So it's really difficult sometimes to find uh, motivation here and there because the support is not as there um, as it usually is when you find it in the summer, which is insane. But, like, you know, I just got to keep going and it is what it is. And hopefully you guys are always here to support whatever I upload and things of that nature. And hopefully you guys will let me know if things are working out uh, with the sub boxes. I want to know what you guys have to have to say about it because you're the ones who are actually the ones who click on the videos. So I want to know if you guys are seeing my videos up here on your feed um, area or anything like that. Just so I know if there's something with my channel or is something with YouTube or I have no idea. But uh, enough about that ramble. Right now what I'm doing is I am cleaning out this area because this is going to be the pumpkin patch area pretty much. What we're going to do is we're going to place a ton of pumpkins. As you can see from the inventory, we have a lot of pumpkin seeds we got from the mountainside over there. I do have a little pumpkin patch area growing uh, as you guys can see in the distance over there. They're just chilling over there pretty dandy. I also took down that big wooden building structure that you guys have seen in the last few episodes. We're going to be remodeling that place. I'm going to figure out what we have to do in this uh, little area down there so again let me know any ideas you may have in mind but right now we're gonna go ahead and start designing this now first thing i want to do is i just thought about it i really kind of forgot in a way how the pumpkin uh how much water i need for the pumpkin seeds and and all this other fancy stuff but for now i'm just gonna go simple i'm gonna place down a few random pumpkins around here first thing i want to do is i need to make an infinite water source that is the first thing I want to do, and we are going to put our infinite water source right about, let's let's put it right here, near this corner right here. This will be absolutely perfect. We're going to go a few trips, get some water, and then we should be pretty good. So let's drop that off over there, and let's go pick up some more handy-dandy water. What do we have in here? Anything good? Oh, you know what? We're going to take some of that stuff. We will definitely need that in the future. All right, so uh, let's get some more water. I think we just need one more bucket, and we should be good. I'm really happy, honestly, to be finally doing this again. I kind of I kind of miss uh, the whole entire Survival Let's Play. I do enjoy it. I, I really like it because, one, it's just you can do whatever you want. It's a creative time, and a lot of you guys enjoyed it, and I realized how much many of you really did miss this. It's absolutely insane the support I got on this series, and I, and I don't want to let you guys down. I'm going to keep working hard to make sure this series stays consistent on the channel because, you know what, I owe it to you guys. For showing so much support and I really do appreciate it. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to place random areas for water. Um, I don't necessarily know how much water pumpkins need around it, but we're just going to give it a shot. I have plenty of bone meal that I will be using to grow the pumpkins a little bit faster so you guys get a little visual of how this whole thing is going to work. Uh, so right now I'm just going to open up this whole area. It's going to be quite a big area. I want this whole middle section to be full of pumpkins and kind of have this really nice October feel with some trees. 
I also would like to make a uh, maybe like a spooky mansion in a graveyard. That would be something I would love to do as well. So if you guys have any ideas or inspirations for that, definitely do so. And let me know down below in the comment sections. Uh, I might be bringing back maybe like a top comment or things if I really like. Uh, and I could pop them up on the screen of the next episode or things of that nature. So that's something I'm probably going to be trying here and there and incorporating some new things. By the way, because it is uh, turning close to October and we have this Halloween theme, um, do you guys want me to change up my texture pack and use a Halloween themed texture pack? If you guys know of any and would like to see that, definitely let me know down below in the comment sections as well. All right, this is enough water for, for the pumpkin patch for now. Let's go ahead and place that over there. So now what I want to do is I got plenty of fences for the reason being that I want to put some fences alongside over here just to kind of make it look a little bit interesting. As you can see, I'm trying to kind of make a nice design here. Here we go. Something simple. Not the whole thing. It's not going to be entirely blocked off. As you can see, I'm just putting a few fences left and right just so it kind of looks a little bit interesting. As you can see, like that. Here we go. See, it adds a little bit more character to it. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, that's decent over there. And we'll continue to follow along this path right here. We'll do like a little L shape right there. And we'll do a little bit over here as well. And it's pretty much simple like this. I kind of want to do this so that it kind of blocks off this pumpkin patch. We'll have our like a main entrance somewhere around here. Uh, this could be a main entrance. So we'll just uh, place one more fence higher. So we know that these are a few of the main entrances. You can just walk right through and we'll keep them open. And there we go. We'll keep those. We'll have like three main entrances. How about that? That's not too bad. Um, and we'll just close this part off or at least connected with the tree so it looks kind of decent and I kind of like that it definitely adds a bit more to this room or this like land over here because it was quite empty before I didn't know what to do with it and this is a perfect chance for us to go ahead and, ex and just kind of make it into something interesting uh so let's go ahead and start uh like I guess we'll just start placing some uh some pumpkins around here let's see how it looks though so the bone meal will work it'll only make the stem pretty much it'll only make the root for it um but now we're just going to have to go around and place them. And hopefully they will grow as soon as possible. So we're just going to go around, place them. Let's take away the food here. Let's make this process go by a little quicker. So we're just going to start placing them all over the place randomly. And then we'll see how that looks eventually. Hopefully it looks quite good. I want to get some jack-o'-lanterns around here, some scarecrows. That would be kind of cool. That's why I do have some stands, which I forgot to mention. We will be using plenty of stands here um, and putting some jack-o'-lanterns on top of them to make it look kind of interesting look make it look like a, a spooky spooky dude over there um all right let's go and just keep going all over we have so many seeds it's it's insane so we're just gonna have to keep going here i'm also going to be adding some hay bills around here as well just to give it some more character some cobwebs i'm really gonna make this place look really awesome i think one thing that would be awesome for minecraft to add a next update would be like scarecrows because honestly that would add such a cool theme also I would think something cool to have as well is different, like kind of like changing leaves, uh, different seasons kind of changing um, throughout. That would be really awesome to have that type of biome where kind of like the leaves turn, turn orange and that would be something I would definitely love to see. Um, I know there's probably, probably some mod packs at, out there that do that already. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe I can try a modded survival eventually. That's just something I'm thinking about maybe in the future, but I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and use all this bone meal. I don't know how long it's going to take for the pumpkin or for the pumpkins to actually grow. Oh, there we go. We already have one over there. So I don't know how long it's going to take us, but we'll figure it out as time goes on. So I'm just going to keep placing as many of these pumpkins across here as possible. But that looks good already. I'm happy with that. So they all fall around here, which is perfect. And we're going to add right now some hay bills as well. We're going to add some more pumpkins. We have 24 more seeds to add around here, which is a lot of seeds left left over. So we still have to continue uh, putting some more pumpkins around here. But look how awesome that looks. I'm a really, really enjoying it so far. As of right now, it's looking fantastic. And look at that. We already have another pumpkin there. Oh, I brought my handy-dandy little uh, bed with us. So we're going to get some rest right now as it is turning night. But look at this view. It's beautiful. So far, this is one of my favorite little projects because I love getting into the theme of the seasons. That's what I want to build off this series. I want to, you know, every season have something that we can go around and, and work on. And I think this is a perfect way to theme everything. Um, and let me know what you guys think about it. If you like it, that would be absolutely fantastic. If you could let me know down below in the comment sections. All right, so let's go ahead. And first of all, I'm going to add one more over here. I think one would do just perfect over here. We have some extra bone meal. Perfect. One over there. And we could definitely add... Ah, there's plenty around here. Oh, we forgot to add bone meal for this guy. 
Here we go. We have plenty of pumpkins growing left and right. I'm loving this. All right, we'll probably add one more here too. There's room for one more. There we go. Perfect. And what we could do is maybe put, uh, I think that's enough water. I spaced out the water quite well, I think, I would have to say. So what I want to do now is I do not have a shovel on me. Oh, geez. Um, that would have helped things go by a lot quicker. So I have some iron, which I can make. Now I can make a shovel. Perfect. Um, let's see. Crafting. I need sticks. I need sticks. Here we go. Let's make this real quick. Here we go. Crafting. Um, where the heck is the crafting bench? No, wait, what? Why can't I craft a simple tool? All right, so that's kind of strange. I thought I could uh, craft one using the sidebar. Okay, never mind though. Uh, oh, there we go. It's right here. Wait, no. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm just getting a little bit confused right now. <laughs> Gonna forget about that. <laughs> All right, it's been a while. Okay, so let's eat up some food before we continue to work on this. So far, looking so good. And all right, so I want to go ahead and add some coarse dirt, which is really easily made through gravel and other type of blocks you can mix and match. Pretty much in here, you'll find that you can actually do it yourself. It's not that difficult. There it is, coarse dirt, gravel, and simple dirt, really simple. And you can make tons of it, as you can see already. So uh, I'm just going to go around and just kind of make some random uh, pathways around here, kind of open the ground up a bit. And then we're going to fill that in with coarse dirt, as you can see. Um, and I think it's going to add a little bit more character to this area as well. Uh, definitely make the ground look a little bit more like a farm, kind of like pumpkins growing around here. I think that would look awesome. We're definitely use the rest of the bone meal to add some, uh, I guess, some more tall grass as well. That would be something we need to do. So let's keep adding as much of this around here as possible. I don't think I'm going to use any gravel. I might use some different type of dirt as well eventually if we get some other type of dirt. Um, but so far, I like this. It's just going to add a bit of interesting look. Also, we are going to use the shovel to turn it into the other type of block, which you'll see what I mean in just a second. Let's go around filling this in. As you can see, this is going to look really nice when it's done. Adds a little bit more to the uh, whole entire environment. I mean, that's the whole idea. Plus, once we add the hay bills, it's going to look really fantastic. All right, filling all these holes in. Here we go. Anything else around here? There's plenty around here. And that is most of them. Okay, great. So now what we're going to do is we're also going to go around with the shovel and randomly just kind of do uh, little patches around here. I think it would be really nice and a good idea to have the patch continue in here a bit. Here we go. Open it up like that. Probably put ourselves maybe... Let's actually put ourselves one of the coarse dirt over there. Probably put some coarse dirt here. Actually, one over there would be nice. Kind of mix it up a little bit. As you can see, that looks quite decent. Quite happy with that. We'll probably put one right here as well. Nice. All right, so we're just going to go around and just randomly make some um, indents here in the ground. I think it will look kind of good when it's all done and looking fantastic. Make our main entrance over here as well. Just open it up a bit like that. Continue to add around random, random stuff here. Oh, we missed a spot. And I think that's all of them. Okay, cool. Let's keep going around here, filling in all these spots. And that should be quite decent. That's enough for now. Here we go. That looks pretty good. See, as you can see, it's all worn out. And <laughs> look at all these pumpkins. All of a sudden, they quickly grew quite, quite quickly. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, so let's see what we have now. We have some hay bills, which we definitely are going to need right now. Uh, I don't have any rails, but it's not a big deal. Uh, I'm trying to find the right spot for this. And we can... Oh, I just completely destroyed... You know what? That's a good spot to put a hay bill. We're going to go and do that right here. There we go. I think that's decent. Maybe it's too much to have it that tall. So let's go ahead and change it up where we put it on the ground on the side. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to get... I thought I heard a creeper. Oh my gosh, that was that was a freaky moment. So let's do this. So we're going to put it on the side of each other like this. I feel like that's maybe better on the side. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment sections. I really don't know. Trying to design this all all around right now. Let's go ahead and put the coarse dirt right there. Probably put some more coarse dirt over there. And all right, not too bad. I'm just gonna add random, I guess random spots of hay around here like this. Just fill in the areas that kind of need it most. And I think this will add a lot of cool look to it. You'll see what I mean. When it's all done, we'll probably add like a bigger patch, maybe like in this corner here, because there's not much going on over here. So we'll probably do one of these. Here we go. There's a little pumpkin over there doing quite fine, not growing yet. Uh, we'll probably do one there. Let's put, uh, let's make a bigger patch over here, actually. There we go. I quite like that. 
And let's see how this is starting to look so far. It's looking quite decent. I'm happy, quite happy with this, to be honest. We're going to go now with bone meal, and we're going to go spread around some uh, grass throughout here. That will look kind of nice as well. Let's make it look a little bit overgrown, a little bit spooky. Um, but I think so far this is looking quite nice. I'm really happy with the turnout of this. And I think it's going to look even better when we continue to add some more things to it, like details, such as the scarecrows. That's what I want. Or not scarecrows, but the... Um, uh, what's it called? These spooky little, uh, oh my god, I can't even think about it. I don't even, I forget the name, forget it. Not even worth it right now. But look at this, this looks fantastic. So we're going to put the armor stand. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to grab one pumpkin. We'll grab this little pumpkin in the corner here. Um, and it'll grow back another one. There's no big deal. And we're going to put one of the armor stands, let's put it right in the middle here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it, I guess on coarse dirt would be kind of nice to have it up there. And now we can put the pumpkin head. I believe you can put the pumpkin head on top of it. Can you? Yes, you can. Great. Um, and if I did have armor, which we will add eventually, we'll have some armor that he can just kind of like uh, chill with. Um, we don't have any leather on us right now. Actually, thinking about leather, I do have some cows in here, I think. Uh, how many cows? Oh, we have enough cows to maybe make, uh, I don't know, something. Let's take out a few of these cows. Here we go. Got two leather from that. We just need to keep two cows. We have two cows. Perfect. All right, so how much leather do we get from that? We only got two leather from all of that. Oh boy, that's not good at all. Okay, so let's just push that to the side. I don't think we have any more leather uh, hanging out around here. Do we have any rails in here, by the way? Uh, no, we do not. Okay, no big deal. Uh, so far, I'm quite happy with the look of this. We should add some torches around here as well. So we can add some around here, just kind of within this area. And we'll see how it looks maybe in the dark. I don't think we'll have time to see how it looks in the dark for today's episode as we just recently went to sleep. I don't know. Where's the sun? No, nah, it's plenty of time left. So we'll probably see it in the next episode. But I'm going to add some more torches around here to make it look quite nice. We can even add the torches. Can we put it on top? Let's see. Let's get it on top of the fence. There we go. We'll put like a few on top of the fence. That would actually look quite nice. Let's actually do that. This will be like the main main entrance, so we'll have those torches up top over there. I like the I like this uh, little dude over here. I kind of like that. We do need to get some leather armor. That's the next progress we have in mind. Also, let's go ahead and add some leaves within here. Uh, we could probably do something like this, kind of like overgrown a bit. There we go. That's quite nice. We'll add a few random spots around here that portray kind of like an overgrown area. Um, and I think that will look quite nice. We'll put like another thing in this corner. Here we go. Put some random bushes within. I think in the middle would be quite nice to have one of these. Kind of going around like that. Oh, that's great. That's actually really nice. All right, so we'll do that. And in the back, we'll have it like a little bit taller. And we'll probably put one up there. That looks good. That looks pretty good. Uh, let's see, what else could we add? Do we have anything else? We could probably add a frame. And even, like, name this dude, but we don't have any item right now for it. Well, we could, oh, you know what? In the entrance, we could add a frame and put a pumpkin in here. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a pumpkin. I do want to make some banners as well. Look how quickly this pumpkin grew back. That's quite crazy. That was quite quick, actually. Um, but we can add a pumpkin inside this frame to show off that this is a pumpkin farm. Obviously, if someone just can't tell that this is a pumpkin patch area, then okay, that's awkward. Uh, let's add some cobblestone wall as well for some random details within here. Uh, more so around here would look quite nice. Just kind of showing this area is the center focal point, as you can tell. Um, and we'll add some random cobblestone around here as well. Honestly, I don't know why, but I think it looks good. It adds a little bit more depth to it, makes it look interesting, and I, and I, I prefer that. I think that would look quite cool when it's all done. You'll see what I mean. Uh, we're probably going to see if we can finish this off in the next episode, uh, but so far, so good. I'm quite happy with this. But look at that. Look at the progress we made already. Let's go ahead and add a few more uh, random, uh, just like, I guess we'll add, let's get this pumpkin here. Let's go grab you real quick. There we go. And let's put our skeleton or the, uh, stand over here. And let's go put one in the corner somewhere around here. I think one would do just fine right about here. That's perfect. So we'll add one on top, put our pumpkin on his head, and there we go. It is turning slowly nighttime, so that's about perfect. Oh, great. So we're going to get to see how it looks, actually. I'm quite happy about that. What I also want to do is I wish we could put the jack-o'-lanterns. We're going to try to do that as well. Um, let's go ahead and just mess around here a little bit. Put some, let's put some oak leaves kind of around here. Here we go. Probably put like a hay bill as well, maybe in the back like that. 
That looks quite decent. Not too bad. And we could even put a torch right about there. Not too bad at all. We can even add a torch um, nearby there as well. And wow, I think this looks really good. For this episode, I am really pleased. One last thing I want to do is I do want to add a tree. We really, we really should have at least like one tree somewhere in the middle. Right about here would be a nice spot for a tree to go. So let's go ahead and place our tree right there. Perfect. We will have, uh, let's go put one more tree somewhere out back here. Let's put one right about there. Oh, I messed up. There we go. Add a tree right there. Oh, am I stuck in this tree? Yep, I am. Let's see how this tree looks. Quite decent. Little small tree. And then uh, that's probably enough. We could probably just fit one more here. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. That's a big tree. So that actually looks quite decent from a distance. And all right. Look at this, guys. The progress we made so far is absolutely fantastic. I really, really am loving the way this looks, especially those guys when they're going to be fully clothed with the armor and everything. It's going to look fantastic. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode of The Pumpkin Patch, don't, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, let me know down below in the comment sections anything you have in mind uh, that you want me to know. Let me know down below in the comment sections. I'll make sure to go ahead and use maybe some of your ideas if you have anything in mind. Don't be afraid. Go ahead and let me know. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe as well. Forget, don't, a lot of people forget actually what I was wanting to say was a lot of people forget to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that so you get notified. And if you're part of Notification Squad, type in the chat, hashtag Notification Squad. My name is Alex and thank you for watching today's episode. Peace out and stay foxy.